letting go of me Was there to be afraid of Time to give it all I'm made of It's all or nothing All the beginning of the end I'm not the prey I'm the hunter And I will defend It's the only thing I'm willing Today to Today we're going to talk about are you on the same page in your new relationship? So here you go, you've been dating each other for about three months. Everything's going really well. But now you're starting to see there's a few little changes coming into play. Because this is what usually happens between the three to six month mark in a relationship. Because everything's so exciting in the beginning. You've got all those sexual pheromones and all these things kicking in. And if you're respecting each other equally, then it works so well. And three months goes by like a flash. And then you're trying to decide what's happening. Are we going to stay a couple? And then you start second guessing yourself because you start seeing one or two little things that seem to be a bit different. Well, what's happening is in those first few months, you are so excited to be together. You're happy. There's, as I say, if you're on a similar sort of page with each other and your likes and dislikes, then it can flow quite smoothly. But after those couple of months kick in and things become more of a reality, you're not spending, you know, 24 hours in the bedroom anymore. You're working, you're doing your everyday things. And then all of a sudden now you're sitting there going, okay, so is this going to last? So you kind of freak out a little bit. And this is why so many couples end their relationships in the three to six month um, mark. What I can say here to you is for you to really pay attention to what similarities you have together. Are you on the same page with each other, with your, your future goals, your, your sexual compatibility? You, do you want kids? Do you want all these things? These should need to be discussed in this time frame because you are investing in them. And if you're exclusive, which is what we're talking about here, exclusive with them, then you need to be at this time frame and you need to have this communication discussion about how things are progressing. Because if, they're, if this person says, oh, I'm really liking what's happening for the moment, well, that's maybe not where you want to be. If you're both on that same level, then that's cool. But you need to discuss this. You need to figure out what's happening, especially if you're 35 and up, because, you know, you don't want to be wasting your time. You're probably getting ready to have, you know, looking for that partner that you can have a family and, and a, you know, buy a home with and all these sort of things. So you want to have the discussion. I wouldn't have it too early because you don't want to scare each other off and you're still finding your way and if you like each other. But once you really find out that you do care about each other, you need to have the talk about whether you are progressing in the same direction and what your future holds for you. Because if you want to move away or they want to do a five year um, going back to school, this might not be what you want. You may not want to hang around waiting for them to do this and you might not want to follow them to their new job. So I really suggest that you have the discussion. Make sure that you're sexually compatible. That's a big one because as we go on in life, you know, you need the intimacy, the romance and the love to keep it going. But you also need the friendship. You also need to get along and have fun together. Can you go out and do things together and laugh? Do you have you know, time apart from each other. And then when you get back together, you're so happy to see each other again. Do you think about them during the day when you're not with them? So as I said, make sure those important priorities that you want in your life are also something they want in their life. It doesn't make you a bad person to want those things or make them a bad person if you don't mesh together. But those first three to six months are the important time when you figure this out. Because otherwise, you're gonna go for maybe another couple of years and then realize, okay, well, I didn't have all those really important things that I wanted met, you know, within my partnership. So now I have to start over again. So don't leave it too late to figure out if you're on the same page with your partner. And if you are, just keep having the communication and if something changes where you feel uncomfortable that things are shifting a little bit, then you have to have the, the talk again. Anyway, something to think about there. And um, please, everybody subscribe to Dear Cyber Sue here on YouTube and leave your comments. How does this, did you have the talk? Like, how did things work out for you? Thanks, everyone. Please don't forget to like the video. Thanks. Take care. Bye -bye.
future's all that I see Always looking to inspire Take a match and light the fire I am courage, I am bold Turn